give you a little closer look, that's where those two screws went. And the other one was right down here. Pop these batteries in and I go through the setup process. This way, this way. All right, so the office is uh, coming together. A little issue of my shelf that has Michael Myers on it, so I gotta fix that. But still some stuff in boxes, still a little ways to go. But today I actually had a product show up that I am beyond excited for. Now, having the Tesla Model 3, I don't need a key for anything. My uh, Pixel 6 Pro is my key, so I hate having to fumble with keys to get into the house which is why the fine folks over at this company sent me their electronic deadbolt handle set. So this has one touch locking and you can program codes in here to uh, unlock the door. Of course, as you can see in the picture, there's a regular key too. So you can do that as well. What I kind of like about this is I'll be able to program a code for like my parents, give it to my parents. And if they ever couldn't get in touch with me, granted, sometimes they have problems getting in touch with me, but if they went like a month and didn't see me upload and couldn't get in touch with me, they could come in and come into the house and so of course, we're going to unbox this and uh, take a look at everything that's in here. Then we're gonna go to our carport door and we're gonna install this. I'll show you any of the other steps involved. Now no, this is not a smart lock where it uses an app. It's just an electronic deadbolt handle set. As in, you'll be able to use a pin code to come in instead of fumbling around with your keys. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch, and let's check out this electronic deadbolt handle set. This has to be an item that I'm probably more excited about than anything I've gotten recently. Special shout out to the company who reached out to me and wanted me to make this video. That's the company name and logo. Electronic deadbolt handle set. So as you can see, it'll replace our regular turn handle as well as our deadbolt. I don't think we'll have an issue getting this put on. There's 50 programmable user codes. One touch locking, so I guess you can literally walk out and like hit a button and it'll lock. Auto lock feature, easy installation, and a vacation mode. Now, uh, just some company information on the back. They do have a real support email address there if you need some help. Other than that, that's it on the box. Let's open this up. So, programming instructions. Those will be important. Righty. Drill installation instructions. One of the few times I'll actually read instructions. Template for uh, drilling the holes. Very nice. And then I guess another. Yeah, so that's another template for drilling your holes to make sure it's all centered and aligned and all that. All right, wow, so much stuff. All right, so this is uh, handle accessories. Let me just take a peek in here. Okay, so that's like all of your stuff for the physical door. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that all together. I don't want any of this to get mixed up because um, this is something I'll have to really focus on. This is lock accessories. So screws, plate, deadbolt, the keys. So this is the actual deadbolt itself. That's what the uh, pad will look like on the outside of the house. That must be the lock and unlock. So uh, the one touch lock button. All right, your four AA batteries right, slide right in there. This is on the inside of your door, so nobody can access that but you. And then this is the actual door handle. Very cool, all right, I like it. And that goes into uh, this handle, which will be on the inside for you. That's everything that comes inside of the box, of course. Now I'm gonna look through these instructions, figure out what's what, and then we're gonna actually start the process of taking out the old lock and trying to get this lock put in its place. And so it does not come with batteries, so that's good to know. All right, so we have our instructions and everything that we should need. So our first step is, we gotta take the old deadbolt off the door. All right, deadbolt is unscrewed. Now we'll get these out here. I must say, I think this is my first time uh, doing something like this. So uh, now we will get this off. So I just popped right off. Now, there we go. Uh, I got something for you.
much better. All right, so I've got my two halves here. This side is what will go on the outside because it's got the uh, number pad. This will, of course, go on the inside. Now, I do need to mount this before anything else, so let's go ahead and put this in. Slide this into there like so, and then I need to uh, mount the two screws. All right, so this part's in. Now I've just got to get the front and the back. So this is the front. I'm going to uh, push it through all of this. So, uh, you know, these two got to line up and go in through there. And uh, this looks like it just goes right over the top, like so. And there we go. The front part is uh, on, not bolted in yet or anything. But as you can see, I ran this just underneath. Those two came through and this one comes through. Now I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my screws back in here. Also, for those wondering, there's a up right there as well on that. So now we're gonna take if we pop off this plate here, there is a screw underneath here that I've already removed. It looks like these little ones here, they give you two extra. Where that, that makes this come off. And now we just have the mounting plate. As you can see here in the diagram, C is the mounting plate. Now we've got to take our mounting post which are these right here. So those pieces just screw right into this top and bottom hole on this side that's supposed to go against the door. And now this plate is together and ready to go on the door to attach to the other plate. So now we'll go over here. We will run everything through its respective holes. The uh, cable for this goes right through here. And of course these just slide into here. And so that's essentially what it will look like once it's on here. Now uh, I just gotta go grab the screws. Now I take this screw to screw into the top to go into the door, and these two go into the left and right sides like this. So you see the long screws go here, left and right sides, and this one just goes up here into the door. Next uh, long screw, and then the short screw that uh, can go right into the top here. So the bit, it should hopefully just go right in. Now I think we're ready for the back faceplate. Now we've got our faceplate and uh, this long screw. So we will go ahead and connect this cable to this little connection point here. There's no batteries in here yet, but I wanna go ahead and get it plugged in. The cable is connected, long screw goes in the bottom. You get three of these teeny tiny screws. These go here and here. All right, now we just need some batteries. And actually, before we do that, let's, uh... oh yeah. Oh yeah, got our four batteries. To give you a little closer look, that's where those two screws went. And the other one was right down here. Pop these batteries in and I go through the setup process. And this way, this way. Whoa. So let's uh, see what we do next. All right, so there's a uh, admin code that is defaulted to one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you press four and then lock. And it gave a little green light. Now we're in our own six digit admin code. All right, so I'm pretty certain I have set up an administrative code. I've also added an additional user. So now if I come out of my house and I'm leaving, I can hit the lock button to lock my door. Okay, now my door is locked. And then if I enter in my pin and then hit unlock, my door unlocks. All right, so it seems to be working. Let's actually grab the keys and let's close the door and give it a try. All right, so we're leaving, goodbye. We hit our lock button. You have to hit it twice because the first time wakes it up. All right, so now I wanna unlock it. I hit this button to wake it up and enter in my code, unlock. It unlocks, my door opens. So there we go. Can't, can't beat, just bam. Now my door's locked, all good. And then again, to unlock, wake up the keypad first, enter in your pin, and then hit unlock. And you're back in. All right, there we go. And then yeah, this uh, should definitely, yep, perfect. All right. Now there is some additional programming functions like to set the auto lock. You can set the auto lock automatically after each time, blah, 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 blah. Different things you can do that I'm not really gonna go into detail with. Of course, you still have the option to uh, close your 
I forgot the, hold on. I forgot the plate. Now, as I was saying, you have the option to just traditional lock. We'll say our uh, thing's a little off. I'm gonna put the other plate on, but um, I think that will do it for this smart lock installation and setup video. So that's the steps you would take to install the deadbolt. Uh, I haven't did this handle yet, but it's, you know, essentially a lot of the same stuff. Um, I actually am probably just gonna leave this handle as it is. I like having two locks. I'm just gonna use this deadbolt. But special thanks to the company for sending this to me. We absolutely love it because with having the Tesla, it just makes it to where we don't really have to carry keys because we can just type in a pin to open up our door. And I don't think anybody can really uh, hijack this or anything. That admin one, two, three, four, five, six has been changed. And then I created another user. So uh, yeah, it wouldn't work. So of course I'll have one of these linked down below in the description if you'd like to grab a set for yourself. And that'll do it for this one. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.